Hi everyone. I hope you're all having a really nice Sunday. I'm here today um, cooking through cor Corona um, once again and today I'm doing um, a roasted salmon and this is the piece of salmon that I have right here. This here is actually one pound slice of salmon filet, okay? Um, here's the recipe. I'm gonna make it. It'll be done before the video's over, actually. Um, if you want to make this for, um, it will feed up to six people, this is what you will have for ingredients. If you wanna, you know, just do a half, then you wanna go ahead and, um, you know, half all the ingredients that are in this recipe, okay? It's an excellent recipe. I've made it. There's a couple of good salmon recipes I have. Th this one and um, one other one that I have that's kind of an Asian type is, is very good. Um, I love this one because it's very moist and yet it has that crispy um, layer on the outside. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna first preheat your oven to 400 degrees, okay? And my oven is already preheated. Um, you're going to mix together three quarters of a cup of mayonnaise, two tablespoons of Dijon mustard, one and a half teaspoons of honey, one and a half teaspoons of apple cider vinegar, and one and a half teaspoons of finely chopped fresh rosemary. And then if you want some extra rosemary to garnish it with, you can do that as well with lemons. I'm not gonna do that today because it's just John and me, but. Um, and then also, it says four to six dashes of hot sauce. And again, I'm not a spice girl, so um, I just put two dashes. Okay, and that's all gonna get mixed together like this, okay? And after you have that all done, you spread it across. First, you wanna salt and pepper this really well, okay? And then you're gonna spread this on top. So again, I cut all those ingredients in half because, you know, I've just got one pound for John and I, okay? So that's that, right down the side. And if you happen to get a piece of salmon that has the tail on it or something, just cut that off because if you leave it on there, when you cook, it's when you bake it, it's, it's gonna curl up on you and you want it to stay flat. And also, um, you do this on a, on a cookie sheet with a piece of parchment paper because that way you can slide it right out and onto the platter when you're done. Okay, so next, you're going to take um, the um, panko breadcrumbs. The only difference between panko and, and regular breadcrumbs is, is these are Chinese breadcrumbs, and they're crispier. Um, and you're going to add to that um, three tablespoons, two cups of panko breadcrumbs if you're making a uh, two and three quarter pound um, salmon for up to six people. So, but this is only a cup, and then you're going to add um, to the two cups of panko breadcrumbs, you will add three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, okay? So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this and you're going to put it right on top of your salmon. I absolutely love salmon. I love fish anyway, but salmon, salmon is my guy. <laughs> Okay, so you put that all right on there. And then, you know, just using your hands, just kind of press it down, you know, so it's gonna grab right to that mayonnaise mixture. And that's, um, and keep it right on there, okay? So then, we got it all ready to go, that's it. I'm gonna put it in the oven. And if you were cooking the regular recipe for this to feed up to six people, it would take um, 16 to 18 minutes um, until the crust is, and then you're gonna let it rest for like five minutes after that. But this is only probably gonna take nine or 10, okay? So I'm gonna set this for 10 minutes. And hopefully by the time it's done, um, I'll have my potatoes done. Now I'm going to make, to go along with this, we're gonna have peas tonight with it because peas go great with salmon. And um, 
I've um, boiled some potatoes. I leave the skins on because I don't mind them, and frankly, I don't really like to peel potatoes. So all you're going to do is you're going to drain the water off the potatoes, obviously. And these are my sour cream garlic whipped potatoes, which are like one of my favorites. I make them quite often. Then you grab your potato masher. And then you're just gonna mash those potatoes like so. Takes about 20 minutes to boil them and I've got like three small potatoes in here, which would be more than enough for us probably. Okay, and then while they're still warm, you want to add, um, I would say about, to this amount anyway, a tablespoon of butter, because you can probably put more back on after, okay? Then salt and pepper to taste. Okay, then you're going to add about a tablespoon of garlic. And I know that seems like a lot, but once you add the sour cream to this, it really cuts that. And then some parsley flakes. Just shake in a bunch. And that's what you've got so far, okay? Then, you're going to take a tablespoon, as in a tablespoon, <laughs> and add your sour cream. And I put a good hunk of it in there, about like that. Okay? That's all there is to that. Now, the other thing I like to do, I'm going to mix that in a little bit. care of that. And the other thing I like to do is I like to add just a splash of half and half, kind of make some creamy er. Super simple. I've made these so many times I can't even tell you. <laughs> they go get good with a lot of things. They go good with um, fish, they go good with beef, pork, anything really. Although I don't think you'd want to put, um, have um, garlic with potatoes with cheese butter, but you know what I mean. <laughs> okay. And then, then, We're going to just whip them up. Get some of my stuff out of the way here. Okay. And then just whip them up. some of these dishes. So this is a very simple dinner today and isn't taking very long at all. However, tomorrow I'm really pulling out all the stops and I'm making my lasagna with bechamel sauce and I'm also going to make ratatouille. And if you 
you've never had it, you will love it. It's very, very good. So it's going to be like Italian day tomorrow here. <laughs> All right, so we've got about four more minutes on the salmon. I'm going to just turn my front burner down on low. And leave that right there so that um, my potatoes stay warm because we will be eating as soon as uh, the salmon comes out because the peas are all cooked. And I'm just waiting on that salmon. Four minutes. Okay, downtime. What's everybody doing today? What's the weather like where you are? And how many of you have been trying my recipes or have you tried any yet? I just want to know if there's some that you like. Um, or something that you're thinking about making at some point. I've been really racking my brain trying to come up with different things that I know are good. And one of the things that John had mentioned a few um, videos ago is that I should make my cordon bleu some night. So I will do that. Um, that I can do that, you know, without any recipe. But I'll tell you how I do it as I go along when I start doing it. Um, and other than that, that's what's been going on here. Just figuring out what we're gonna cook next and eat next and trying not to eat it all and giving some of it to our neighbors so that we don't eat everything I'm making here. It can be a lot sometimes. So we didn't go out today at all. We have been looking at um, the grocery store kind of like our social moment of the day, but then by the time you mask up and get your gloves on and everything, you're hurrying to get through the store because you don't want to hang out in there too long. and. You, you know, you're sweating underneath, you're drooling underneath, I mean, but you do what you got to do. I was really surprised yesterday, um, I had to go to Fry's, and I couldn't believe, and John had the same experience at Walmart. He said nobody was, hardly anybody was wearing masks. They had stopped, um, you know, disinfecting the carts outside, and even the employees weren't wearing masks. That's not the case at Safeway. Safeway's doing a fantastic job. But um, I don't know how this is all going to turn out, but I ordered new masks today because I've been waiting seven weeks, um, actually almost eight weeks now, um, for the masks that have not come. And um, But we found some real cute ones that are little dog ones. We, we found Dalmatians. So I told Sophie this afternoon that we're going to all look alike when we get our masks, aren't we, girl? <laughs> so anyway. Um, Two more minutes on the salmon, kids. Looking pretty good. And I think I did tell you that this is, uh, the oven is 400 degrees. Sounds like it's really high, but you want it to, you know, cook well. You know, not overcook, because overcooked fish is as bad as undercooked fish. So. Um, this is going to be good though, because this is just a pound of salmon, and um, but you can, um, you know, if you have a crowd coming, you could double that recipe if you wanted to, um, or just, you know, the one that, the regular recipe that I gave you, which I will post on Facebook because I did, did make a copy of it today, and um, I will do that as soon as um, we get done eating dinner, okay? So I think it's going to be just about done here. Oh yeah, it's nice and brown on the top. And there it is. Yum yum yum. <laughs> ready to eat. <laughs> Keep in touch guys, stay well, and I will post pictures of the plate, I will post the recipe it, um, itself, and I will see you tomorrow for Italian Day, okay? Thanks a lot for checking in, take care, bye-bye.